This is the first video that we are going to do in a series on different training splits, with the goal being to figure out what would be the best training split for you to build muscle. The timing is good for me as well, as I am changing my own personal training split come 1st of November, and once a month after that, we will take a look at a day of my split, and I'll break it down for you exactly what I am doing. But in this video, we are going to take a look at full body splits. They are often recommended to newer lifters to help them get started, learn the movements, and have their bodies adapt to the straining stresses. But they are so much more than just a beginner workout. They can grow with you, offering you more versatility and plateau busting options than almost any other training split out there. Another advantage with full body training is that if you miss a day, it's a lot easier to catch up that day. With more complicated training programs, you can't just move one day over without it having this huge domino effect on the rest of your training week. And you get more recovery with full body workouts. Most programs are two or three days a week, allowing at least one rest day in between. In my last video, I mentioned the typical order of exercises for a full body workout. And we will use that for this workout that we're building now. So we'll start with legs, and then because my back is a weaker point than my chest, we'll prioritize back and make it next. After that, we'll do chest. Then following that, we'll do shoulders, arms, and abs. So that'll give us a total of seven different exercises. And if we do two sets of each exercise, it'll give us a 14-set workout. If we do three sets of each exercise, that'd give us a 21-set workout. And for this training split, we are going to do two or three sets per exercise. I'm not a fan of single set workouts as I find that first set just really helps to get us in the groove. Now for legs we have a few different options. At home here I like to do suitcase squats but if you have a squat rack you could do back squats then there are front squats and goblet squats along with a wide variety of different lunges that we could do. Now I'm not going to list off every different exercise that we could do for every body part but what I'd like you to do is pick your three favorite exercises. And when it comes to legs, back, and chest, make sure they are compound exercises. Now, while we're only doing one exercise per body part, we can add in some variety by making it a different exercise on each training day. Now, what I did for the sample workout that I put together for this video, and if you'd like a copy of that sample workout, I'll post it on my Facebook or you can email me and I'll put links to both in the description. And in that sample workout, what I did is on Monday, I did suitcase squats, Wednesday, walking lunges, and Friday, front squats. Because there are so many different exercise choices, if we find that over time, we feel like we've plateaued on a certain exercise and we just can't seem to progress any farther, we can simply take that exercise and swap it out for another one. Another way that we can break past the training plateau is to reorganize the first three muscle groups in our workout. Now I like to start with legs as it's a great way to warm up our whole body and prepare for the rest of the workout. But we should be doing a warm up first anyway, so really we could do chest or back first, giving priority to whatever area it is that's giving us the most trouble and training it when we're freshest. Or we could do a different major muscle group at the beginning of our workout for each different training day. For example, on Monday we could train legs first, Wednesday we could train back, and Friday we could train chest first. The last suggestion I would make is if you wanted to add in a second exercise for a certain muscle group, but didn't feel like you had the energy to add in more overall sets, is to reduce your amount of sets from three sets to two for a couple different body parts. So for example, if you're doing three sets of back, say bent over row, and three sets of chest, say flat bench, you could now do two sets of bent over row, leaving you four sets for your chest. You could do two sets flat bench and two sets incline. A place where this could work very well is for your shoulders and arms, because those body parts you can't do earlier in your workout, because if you tire out your smaller muscle groups, you can't effectively train the rest of your body. But no matter how you decide to train or what training split you use, What's most important is that you keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.